Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Super Mario Galaxy, originally released on the Nintendo Wii, but has now been ported over to the Nintendo Switch with updated visuals and a smooth 60 frames a second. Oh, and uh, hey, if you guys don't mind, if you find these kind of videos interesting, can you hit the subscribe button? 95% of the people who watch my content are not subscribed to me. So if you enjoy my content, why not just hit the subscribe button? It really helps me out. Well, with that being said, let's jump right into some secrets and easter eggs. The only unfortunate thing about this port is that they don't use the original box art for Super Mario Galaxy, which holds a neat little secret. This is a bit of an obvious one, but if you look at every letter that has a sparkle on it, you get U R M R G A Y, or you are Mr. Gay. Some people interpret this as saying or meaning you are Mr. Happy, as gay can also mean happy. The Octo Goombas are one of the very first new enemies you run into in Super Mario Galaxy, and they have a striking resemblance to the Octoroks from the Zelda series. And King Catalina, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, that's the best I could do. One of the first bosses in the game has even more of a resemblance to the Octoroks. Good Egg Galaxy has a Yoshi egg as a planet. Unfortunately, Yoshi was not in this game. However, it's a neat little nod to him. It's almost like they're telling the player, hey, we didn't forget about Yoshi. You can also have his head as the save file icon. In Flip Switch Galaxy, the background has images from the original Super Mario Bros. game on the NES. In Space Jump Galaxy, there's a rocket that looks strikingly similar to the one from the Pikmin franchise. Maybe Oliver or Alf ran out of rocket fuel and got stuck in this galaxy. And before we leave Space Junk Galaxy, you can feed this lumen to create a planet that is in the shape of Yoshi's head. Whenever you race Shadow Mario, if you press Z and A just before the countdown ends, you will get a head start. You will know you get this head start as Mario will start to flash a different color. A lot of the little musical notes that usually reward you with 1-ups typically have remixed tunes from previous Mario games. This is the case with both Mario Galaxy games and even future games like 3D World. In Toy Time Galaxy, there is a hidden train under some blocks. You can only view this by going into a first person view. And a little bit more of an obvious one, there is Pixel Mario's in the background of Toy Time Galaxy, which ends up being its entire level. And on the back side, there's even a Pixel Luigi. In Rolling Gizmo Galaxy, there is a section where if you look down below the stage, you can see some star bits that are in the shape of a Zelda rupee. In Buyo Base Galaxy, there is a planet that looks very similar to a Pokeball. Ghostly Galaxy has a level called Luigi and the Haunted Mansion, an obvious reference to Luigi's Mansion. If you collect 9,999 star bits, all coconuts will turn into watermelons. I'm not really sure why, but it's definitely a weird change. Did you know that you can reach galaxies without a launch star? You just need to use the flying Mario power-up to reach them in the hub world, but I think this is only available in the Nintendo Wii version of the game. Bowser Jr.'s airship armada has a hidden planet in it. All you have to do is get to the first cannon and look to your right. Mm -hmm. 
gold leaf is the first galaxy, but it's mirrored. However, that's not the reason why we are here. The reason we are here is that there are cataquacks here, an enemy from Super Mario Sunshine. The concept of climbing on top and moving on a large being was originally intended to be used as the final fight as Ganon in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but this was scrapped due to the fact that one would be unable to see Ganon himself while atop of him. However, this was later reused in Super Mario Galaxy, much to the excitement of the development team. Many of the minigame galaxies have remixed music from previous Mario games. Here are just a couple. And here are all the hidden one-ups in the Comet Observatory. After collecting all 120 stars, you will get a different ending. You can also unlock the ability to play as Luigi, but there's still a few more things. After collecting the last Power Star, back at Peach's castle you will get a letter in the Wii system board with a cute little postcards. However, this has been removed in the Mario 3D All-Stars remake of the game, as the Nintendo Switch doesn't have any type of message boards. That's about everything I can find in Super Mario Galaxy 1. What about the long forgotten Super Mario Galaxy 2? Man, Nintendo really did this game dirty by leaving it out of the 3D All-Stars remake. But hey, at least we get to look at the box art on this version. And yeah, there's another hidden secret here. It's actually a response to Super Mario Galaxy's one box art secret. You are Mr. Gay. If you look at every other letter that has a sparkle in it and then reverse it, it will spell out, yeah, I am, are you? It's super neat that they did this. It's really hard to tell if this was done intentionally or maybe someone just snuck it in. Nah, I don't think so. I really think this was intentional. What about you guys? What do you think? The Supermassive Galaxy may be a reference to the giant land from Super Mario Bros. 3. Pixel Mario from Super Mario Galaxy 1 makes a return as a stage. Throwback Galaxy is a complete recreation of Thwomp's Fortress from Super Mario 64. King Thwomp actually makes a return with similar dialogue to the original fight in Super Mario 64.
and he actually tells us how he's so tired of giving the same speech over and over again. And after beating him, he mentions how Mario wins yet again. Tall Trunk Galaxy's music is Peach's Slide from Super Mario 64's It's Just Remixed a Little Bit. We got any Sunshine fans here? Well, if so, this might look a bit familiar. Twisty Trials Galaxy is a remake of the Secrets level from Super Mario Sunshine. It also has some Mario pixels in the background. Sunshine fans, are you still with me? Good, because we're not done yet. In the Starshine Beach Galaxy, the Pinatas make a return. Yoshi's House from Super Mario World has now been remade in Galaxy 2? Wow, they really wanted to remake a lot of older Mario locations and characters in this game, huh? But that's not all. Here's one that I never knew about. If you read the sign, it says, please go around back Yoshi. However, if you quit the level and select the third power star, Pee Wee Piranha's speed run, and you read the sign again, it will now read, please go around back Yoshi the space dragon. Wait, what the heck? Since when was Yoshi a space dragon? I thought he was a dinosaur. In Boulder Bull Galaxy, there is a little robot guy who will hold up a Goomba above his head, the same way that Link from The Legend of Zelda games does whenever he gets a new item. If you collect 7,777 star bits and you talk to the Luma Captain, he will make a few comments on how you have collected such a lucky number of star bits. Now this is the one most of you have been waiting for, or maybe we have some new faces who have never heard of this before. But in Shiverburn Galaxy, if you look up to the right, you can see the famous Shiverburn aliens. There's a whole lot of mysteries and conspiracy theories out there about these guys, as their texture file names them as Hell Valley Sky Trees. I don't know about you guys, but these don't look anything like trees. Why don't you guys leave a comment down below of what you guys think that they actually are. At the end of Bowser's Galaxy Generator, there is a flagpole that Mario has to climb up, unfortunately leaving Yoshi behind. However, Yoshi doesn't seem to be too upset as he waves goodbye at you almost as if he's wishing you good luck with the final fight. If you flutter too high with Yoshi in the end credits, you can actually lose a life. And again, if you collect all 120 power stars in this game, you will get another secret ending. And now the green comments will appear as new challenges. And after completing all of them and the Grand Master Galaxy, you will again be rewarded with a letter and a postcard in the Wii message board. Well, that's about all I got for you guys today. If I happen to miss any secrets and Easter eggs, please let me know down below in the comments. And hey, if you happen to learn something new, let me know by leaving a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I plan to make more Mario and Zelda Easter eggs and secrets videos in the future. Well, with all that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day today.